Hello. And welcome to the stream. I'm Robin and Andrew Jack are down to see, and we are playing more Evergrace. I'm getting a full Paldio set because I can. Hi, Crow. Hi, Luck. How the heck are y'all? Good. And hello, Judge. So we made our way through an ice cavern at the suggestion of a Rubanian priestess in order to reach the Colosseum, which apparently is going to be very important. Don't know why. Not really worrying about it. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit of a nightmare. I love it. I don't know why I love it. It's like, I think there was a song in the first Guitar Hero by a band called Made in Mexico. And it was one of my favorite songs, but nobody else liked it. Because it's like, it's a cacophonous march. And it's kind of one of the most insane songs to try and chart in terms of like, does it, is anybody listening to this? Does anybody like want to listen to this song? And the answer is yes, me, I do. Oh, <gasps> the gutla. What? Okay, we got it. Okay, so. This is likely not going to be our new weapon, but. Look at that. Oh. Okay. Well. It's no Zot's toy. Few things are. So hi, how is everybody? I myself am doing something. Um, I'm a bit stressed out today, and I've got a neck ache, but I'm here playing Evergrace. So I'm still pretty happy about it. It's one of those days where you just kind of like got to take some time to yourself a lot. But uh. Oh, here we go. Look, there it is. That old man is Ooh, a little bit of a flash warning there. Wait, get it. Serious. Huh? Charlene? How could this be? No. This can't be. It's impossible. She died when I killed her. What? Hey, Darius, you want to explain some things? Because, uh, that's a little... Like, how'd you kill her? How'd you kill her? How'd you do it? Could you go into detail? Because I think you might be full of shit. Maybe? Okay, we're going to go inside because I can't... The flashing for you might not be quite so large because it's definitely not screen wide, but for me, it is very large. So we're just going to go in. All right. We're inside and the music is now nice and somber. Oh, hey there, bud. How come you can hit me and I can't hit you? What the heck? What to heck? Okay, there we go. So. Now we know that once we cross this door, we're gonna meet up with Charlene. But we kind of also know that there's a couple of Charlene's? Okay, the music is way less somber now. What vibe are you trying to get across to me with this? <laughs> it's better than I expected. Charlene! What do you want? This is the best part. Charlene! How dare you barge in making all this noise? You! 
What did you do to her? Oh, Should you know. You introduce yourself before you start demanding answers? Answer the question. No. You answer mine. It's time to go. <laughs> I'll leave the rest up to you. Okay. Oh, wait. What? He's like, okay, so he you're not going to answer my question. I'm just going to leave. Just going to stand there. You won't last long with that attitude. Dude, your design is kind of sick, on. actually. Let's do battle. Yeah, the squeaky hammer and, like, the jaunty, clicky music. Everything is just going great right now. The vibes are immaculate. Okay, this guy doesn't seem like he's going to be too bad. Not with the hammer. Goodbye. I don't know. I kick your ass pretty hard. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye to me too. Shit. Okay. Well, things are indeed going so great. I'm sorry I brought you into this, but this is your game over. There he is. Are you okay? It's too hot in here. Let's find a way out. Hey, we know this place. The abandoned road. I wonder if this is going to be... Oh, new sword. I wonder if this is going to be largely the same as the layout from Charlene's take. Oh, it's not a one-hit kill. How awful. Anyway. Da -da -da okay, so. Ow. Bump. Well, we're still doing... Oh, my God. Well, let's load up our game again <laughs> and do it all over. Welcome to the stream. I'm your host, Robin and Anderjack without a C, and this is Evergrace. Which you're, we are loading up for the first time. Uh, <laughs> this game's going great for us. But, okay. So we need to watch out for more fireballs than we did when we were Charlene. Welcome. There was a comment in the one. last stream. Um, <laughs> can't believe I got here just in time for the start of the stream. Whoa. Um, yeah, it's this game is starting off very strong, you know, like so strong. I want to pick up some new gear. I would like to get the Armor of Valor because that's the, like, really weird, fun-looking one with the crosses and stuff. This one. Actually, I'm not going to be wearing a lot of that. And... Going to fix the Paul Dio helm. So we're going to basically just cut right through everything because there's nothing that's going to stop us this with this way. hammer. Goodbye. Cool. We'll do a safety save just so we don't have to do that whole process again. Not until we get a little bit of extra money. But oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. Equip your BS now. So hopefully everybody's doing well. Um, 
I was watching the Fatal Frame playthroughs, um, currently being uploaded on YouTube. At Jack available in perpetuity, absolutely free, correct. And I gotta say, they are charming. And Robin remains very good at video games, but man, the streams these days have so much polish and shine. Well, thank you. I really do appreciate that. I have been like, hi, AJ. I've been like tinkering with stuff. Like I, I'm never really satisfied with something. I, I always have to like, I always have this um, desire to mess with things and I like my old templates, but I'm really proud of where things are going with this one. I really like its flexibility. I like what it does in OBS for me. It's good, good stuff. But uh, it's definitely come a long way. This is like the third template I've used. Bump. And the first one was like, okay, but I very quickly tossed it in favor of something a little bit more minimal. But this one, I think, is like a nice little cut between. I like it a lot. All right, a little flash warning for a second here. Then we pop through here, and we're just going to rush right down. Hi, B. I've also worked a lot on my audio since then, so... Uh, even the old streams don't look messy, but this one in comparison is so nice to look at. I, I genuinely very much appreciate that comment. I just want to make sure that like everybody gets like the nicest experience I can manage. You gotta love a friendly ostrich. Silent Hill Heather outfit. Which one? Which number was that? Was that? <laughs> Nailed it. Thank you for the redemption. I needed a jacket for the wet weather. Okay. Bump. Bump. Ow. Very rude. Maximum squeak. Bump. 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 Looking like Colorado over there in Evergrace. I'm sorry. Evergrace is just a representation of real world fantasy. It's been real wet out here. Oh, I mean, that's kind of great, but also hopefully not too wet. Because you live like you live out in the southwestern states where things get balmy. So you want that sometimes. Just wet enough, really. You know what? That's great. Bump. Goodbye. Okay, we're not dying this time. Great job. Let's see. Ooh, treasure chest. And now I have a monkey. Okay. I guess he's just gonna randomly inflict me with status ailments or something, like a jerk. Just wet enough. The whole state is out of drought for the first time in, well, a long time. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. We are not in drought for the first time in my life. Holy cow. That's intense. Well, I pray the rain finds you as often as it is necessary. Another one and no less. That old fox Morpheus. You're wounded. I know. I guess this is it for me. I'm not ready to go. Wasn't he in the state in the human girl. research lab? If you get out of here safely, save the girl. Charlene from Morpheus. Hi, Jack. Before she's turned into a guinea pig. Before it's too late. Here, take this. Acquired the Scarlet Promise Sphere. Me. Save your breath, friend. I was going to do it anyway. You know her? 
know her? I killed her. Wait, I didn't need to tell you that. Anyway. Are you, are you related to Charlene? Don't worry about it. I... I caused her misfortune. We're in the middle of a slight heat wave down here, which is a little troubling, considering we're supposed to be in the middle of winter. Right, you're South American, so... The winners... God, when everybody's boiling alive here. But gosh, that's rough, buddy. Again, praying for an absolutely adequate amount of rain for everybody. My coworker doesn't have jury duty, so my day will only suck the normal amount as opposed at work as opposed to much more. Yeah, that's that's always a good time. It ignores a monkey demon hanging off of me during this cutscene. Bump. This monkey is causing me misfortune. Okay, so we got a, a one or two other areas to check out before. If we drop off to our left right here, we should be able to see something at the end of the walkway. We've also got lava, but we don't have float on at the moment. So let's go ahead and add the Dragalos boots, which grant us the ability to float. Meanwhile, I watched season one of that new Twisted Metal live action show and I cannot believe I'm saying this, but it's good. Huh? Like, okay, here's the thing. Will Arnett, Anthony Mackie, Stephanie Beatriz, and it does seem to actually be kind of a love letter to Twisted Metal in ways that you don't normally expect. So I am not terribly surprised because like I honestly thought some of the early stuff was genuinely filled with potential, just wasn't quite there. And I just blamed it on like bad trailers, bad editing. It seems like it could be really fun. Oh, AJ, uh, Robin, I showed your coworker. Uh, I showed a coworker your Pee Wee and Elvira drawings to a couple of coworkers, and they were hyped. Ooh, I'm glad. Um, I haven't talked about that on here, but uh, hey, like as of this recording, uh, Paul Rubens is no longer with us. I'm pretty sad about it. Um, and I spent part of my like little, okay, like celebrity, celebrity death grieving by talking about a project that I wanted to do a while back, a couple of years ago. I, I watched the double feature of uh, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. No wait, I didn't actually watch it. I, I planned on it. Uh, and I watched, like, the first Elvira movie. There's been, like, a few after that. Um, and I realized that, like, Pee-wee's Big Adventure and the Elvira movie, Elvira Mistress of the Dark, is a great double feature. And I thought, like, you know, we haven't actually seen Elvira and Pee-wee in, like, the same piece of media, which is fascinating because both Catherine Peterson and Paul Rubens graduated from the same improv group. They worked together for a long time before Pee-wee ever developed the character of Pee-wee. I know I said that weird, but like, how many, how many times have like, we all gone like, oh yeah, I know who you're talking about, Pee-wee. No, Paul Rubens, we're not talking about Pee-wee right now. I do it all the time. Um, Ooh, do we have a cat? So, let's first say hello to a cat and its big, beautiful face. Where are you? There you are. There are you. 
Look at that. With theme music, even. Beautiful. Absolutely lovely. Um, and so I had this idea for a comic where they actually meet up because I kind of always thought it would be really silly because if they didn't, because those two actors were friends for the longest time. They were co-workers and they have as much as it might seem weird to say, a very similar sense of humor, very similar vibes. So I always thought like a combination would be really good. And I really wanted like this whole Elvira coming to Pee Wee's town and being the coolest person there, as far as Pee Wee is concerned. Actually kind of mean to anyone who tries to tell her no, basically, or tries to get up in her face, tries to tell her like, you can't act that way around here. But Pee-wee kind of latches on to the edgy side as an impressionable howdy doody youth. And basically acts as Elvira's underling without Elvira's permission. So I had this idea for a story where, you know, Pee-wee has this like goth phase where all that changes is that he gets a little bit more 1950s after school special bully. And he wears a black bow tie instead of a red one, and that's it. <laughs> and I always thought that would be like a really fun comic to get made. But, you know, maybe that would happen, maybe not. Maybe more eyeliner, maybe. We're just gonna ignore the boss for a second, and just plant these fears down because like, we got other things to do. Oh wait, we were supposed to do that. Okay, now he's free. He's primed for punching. Yeah, I just, I just really wanted, I wanted those two to interact, and I wanted an opportunity to have them write something together, or at the very least, just make this little weird crossover that I feel like should have happened, actually happened. Okay, how do I get to this guy? Aw. That's not fair. Well, okay. So, let's see. Oh. We'll just do this. Ow. Lobster claws. And thank you, Judge. I, I I think it could be a good idea if if I ever get the spoons to do it. The spoons and the time. I would love to just like do a good quick and dirty version of the comic. Or at least like the opening act. My guy. Ooh, no, that's not a good idea. We're just gonna pop him from afar. Because it is doing damage. Maybe not enough. Ow. I was in Glassworks today, and I really do gotta take a shower, so I'll talk to you guys later. Well, thank you for coming by, V. If you happen to show up before the end of stream, welcome again. Ow. Okay, this is kind of mean. Okay, it seems to be a flat 258. Come on. God, I never expect the wind-up to be damaging. We're gonna run out of power before too long. Nope. Oh, this also works. Ah, oh, he will knock us straight into the water or er, lava, though. Okay, well, we knew that was a risk, and I was ready to accept it. Let's see. So, what on earth? 
do we do about this? Let's double check our items to see if we've gotten everything that we can. We've got the Azure Sphere and the Scarlet Sphere, so we really can just like run straight up. Um, do we have a good long range weapon? Let's see. Ooh. What does this do? Let's find out. This is just a globe taken out of taken out of a library. That's not going to help us. <laughs> Hello. But short range know. attacks aren't going to help. Show you something. Ceremonial spear. That might be a good fit. This one but it something. might be good to upgrade it. Let's see. What's it going to take? 1800? Okay. Then let's run around and get a little currency so that we can attack him a little bit more gratuitously. There we go. His attack range is LMAO. <laughs> Himself needs to bring back damaging windups for Elden 2 Ring. Oh god. I love Elden Ring. It's a fantastic game. I adore it. It kicks my ass. And it does not need more advantages than it already has. Bomb. I suppose the other thing we can do. Well, I don't know what else we can do. I guess pay attention to what kinds of Palmyra actions we have access to. But uh, also, we are getting quite a bit of currency pretty quickly. Drop down. We're going to see if we can upgrade with what we got here. Because if we know stuff well enough, we might, we might, we might. Okay, 1800. Yes. No. Yes. No, just short. Oh, maybe we can sell something. It gives you a thousand. This one. This was... You know what? This Screw it. This I have never seen a use for it. This and it gives us a thousand monies. This I want a thousand monies. This so let's have a whole bunch of a thousand monies. This oh. Okay. I am... We can upgrade this everything. Is... Okay, so this will be... Fairly cheap, actually. Um, we've also got the the Lancer, which is probably also a good bet. We'll just do that. That's nice. I I wish Zul's toy were a little bit more damaging against this guy, but we'll roll with it. This won't be a terrible fight once we kind of figure out a consistent way of hitting him. But until then, it's going to be an absolute nightmare, and I regret ever facing him. This <laughs> one. Let's see. War cry armor. Ooh. Mm. I would love some of these other armors. That would be great, but. We ain't got time. We got games to play. Trying to have a sip and it asks me to overwrite my files. Like, yes, of course I do. I understand, though. It's to prevent something terrible from happening. I missed that as war crime armor, which sounds like something that'd be in the air. 
You'd only find out that it's War Prime armor after reading the weapon story. That's how that works. Okay, so we did a safety save. Very smart. Very sexy, handsome, and cool. <gasps> Mushroom. Mushroom. Yes. Oh, you stopped that. So now we have a good way of having access to a lot of money fairly quickly. Ooh, and we should also make sure we actually put the weapon in a slot. Hell yeah. And we're gonna test this out as we go. Hopefully this works out. But it's got good range. Not great speed, but that's okay. Oh, and we can put on better equipment. So we got the Paldeo helm, got the Paldeo breastplate, and we can put on the Paldeo boots, which is a very nice set. We have so many weapons with Darius. It's kind of kind of wild to me. Like they are not afraid to give us stuff. Yeah, yeah. You scream. I play spheres down. Your tunnel of death goes away, and then I can poke you a lot. And there we go. Now, what do we have access to? Ooh, summon ice. Whoa, okay. Man, that's gonna be so great if it hits. Oh, yes. We did good. We made a good decision. We got a little magical girl spinning transformation sequence. No issue. Ice balls. Goodbye. Aw. Fine. And it barely takes away from our endurance. Oh my god, this dude is sturdy. You stop that. Give me bridge. Oh, God. Um, oh. Yeah, that's just his body. Okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah, so that worked. Anyway, goodbye, weird guy. Oh god. Okay, so let's unpack some things. Darius claims he killed his sister, Charlene. Charlene doesn't seem to believe any of that. But also, we saw another Charlene that's pretty different. Like, we have faced a mirror Charlene. But. I don't know. Ooh, aftermath. <gasps> Heavenly X. Some writing is carved on the hilt. To our savior, from your eternal friend, Doll. This warrior had a crest, and now, have you ever thought about the crest? What it means? What it does? Tragedy for others hound you wherever you go. That won't change in this world or your own. What are you saying? People exist in a constant flow. They get carried along by the flow, and they struggle to break free. Same goes for bearers of the crest. But when a crest bearer struggles, they make currents in the flow, and people get swallowed up by them. Okay, this is actually kind of interesting. Even bearers of the crest can get swallowed up. Its very existence is a plague. That's what the crest is. It doesn't explain what it is. So what? What difference does it make if I know all this? Will the troubles end? Is everyone afraid of the crest? That's not what I wanted to hear from you. I'm in a hurry. I need to know how to get out of here. You know, don't you? Tell me where I can find Morpheus. I see. If that's what you want. 
spine. Please don't move. You're very strong. Yeah, even in the manual, crests aren't given a lot of explanation. So, uh, we're kind of on our own. <laughs> we're gonna save. So, yeah, we aren't getting any answers about crests, and we are discovering that, at least from a few different perspectives, the whole idea of Darius's quest seems to be built on a misunderstanding. Which is just so great. The one who takes me in must be stained with my color. Okay, seems uh, pretty cut and dry. Well, our hammer is already very red. Stained with the blood of our enemies and with red dye number two. All right, let's see. Actually, you know what? That looks pretty good, red. We might stick with it. We're gonna look like the Red Comet from Gundam over here. Uh, it's gonna be freaking sweet. Honestly, we look pretty great already. I love that they made this a feature. They didn't have to do that. We're looking a little bit more Mega Man-ish. Jesus Christ, this is this is a video game. This is peak video games right here. All right. Let's say hello to Mr. Red. And away we go. I'm assuming Charlene's already gone way ahead of us. And the Charlene that we saw is not the Charlene that we know. We also know that guard boots will let us use lift. So we are so red. Oh God. Why did the camera change? Why did it do that? Uh, <laughs> it's kind of the dumbest death I've had so far. And I have had some dumb deaths. <laughs> okay, new lesson. If you don't have control, don't do anything. Just sit there. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Just sit there. Don't touch the controls. It's it, it, you'll suffer. This one. That's the rule. This one. Oh, I don't want to fix. Ugh. I can't prove to people I'm so good at video games. If I beef it in the silliest of ways. I just can't. Okay, here we go. We could probably just put on the guard boots right now. Because they are very red. Making it happen. Grab our boots, our wellies, our Astro Boy chic. Don't touch the controls. Yeah, it actually messes with the camera for no good reason. I love that. Good game. All right, so we remember a little bit of the layout here because we did it very recently with Charlene. Oh, hey, buddy. Say hi to my hammer. It, 
it squeaks with the sound of your death. Okay, so we got a key. I think we can go over to the east side for some other things. Oh, you want to fight too. Bump. And bump. Oh. And we have another chest. Bump. Thank you. Bump. Bump. Ah. Very rude. Okay, we got a mushroom for that, so that's pretty cool. And another dude to kill. Whoa, what is that? A war mauler. Okay. We're getting some nasty gear now. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Hi, Necrobob. We're dying a lot. This game is ready to kill us. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Back to the shop. Color it red. Take a safety save. Move on. Welcome. Jesus. This game is really cranking up the meanness. This okay? And it knows how. Also, I found out I have a little bit more money in my account than I thought I did, so I'm getting very excited to pick up Armored Core very soon. If I end up liking it, I kind of want to go back and see if I can find some of the other Armored Cores, just for the heck of it. I have a feeling it won't matter too much going back. Like, I might get a story, but it's mostly for the gameplay. But who knows? Maybe the old ones are good. And swoop. We'll then switch to our wellies. Now, how would I deal with those spears? Should I deal with those spears, or should I just avoid that hallway? These are the questions we must ask ourselves if we don't want to get skewered. It helps that there's, like, nothing there. Stop that. Stop that. Fun time. Too bad the campaign wasn't too long and that they'll probably never make three. I mean, they could. I think it could happen if only because like, Respawn Star Wars games have been going well and Apex is still holding strong. But it's definitely something that's like, it's gonna take time. Yeah, yeah. I got blossomed. Yeah, I do need to eventually just finally play Titanfall 2. I have, a f I have access to a couple of different versions of it. Just sit and do that one of these days. I shouldn't try to make every new game opportunity a new stream opportunity as well. But I'm not gonna lie, it's tempting. First-person shooters are a bit harder to stream and a little bit less accessible unless I can find some way of mitigating motion sickness for as many people as possible. Why make three when their stupid arena game prints money? And in fairness, they could just use that game as a template since it's most of the same gameplay. But while that one does indeed make loads of money, it's a, it's a good one. <laughs> we'll admit, I just don't like multiplayer games all that much. At least not anymore. 
Mm. I got a barbershop trio. I am decimating with each strike. Oh no. Looks like we got mm, sealed? I think that's what that affliction is. Release emblem. Takes that off. And boop. Come on, go down. Let's wait for him to come down. He's gonna do his little gassy spew. Come on, there we go. Bomb. What if it was purple? Okay. So it looks like we can head back to the Cursed Statue. We will probably have to put on the guard boots again. Which is not a bad thing. Because our leg armor is kind of getting a little worse for wear. The Paul Dio set, apart from the body, is a little weak at times. Great defensive stats, but low durability. Oh my god, I almost did the thing again. Don't do that thing, me. You will hurt yourself and you will die. Okay. Statue is blue now. I guess I'll have to add respawn to my list of companies to buy a controlling interest in so I can force them to make the games I want. I mean, that's always the dream, right? This is that. To be able to just go, hey, I own you now. This one. I'm not gonna control you, but I am gonna say, hey, you gotta make this game. It's a little controlling, but it's just a matter of just wanting that specific game. Honestly, that's just what art grants are, though. <laughs> that's all it is. That's just art grants, baby. And I'm sure there are companies out there that would love a grant to make whatever the heck they want. All right. Since we are swimming in cash, I want to check out what else we can actually pick up. Pick up a Toybin. We can pick up Speed Boots and Hamid Boots. Armor of Valor and Dark Forge Armor. Ah, the War... The War Cry Armor is, a, is no longer available. The Armor of Valor could be good. Let's see. Significantly restores HP to the user. Uh, drains enemy HP. That one has never been too great. Lightning attribute. Ice attribute. Okay, so what you're saying is it's all a bunch of baloney. All the breastplate. Let's upgrade that. Yeah, that's, that's good for now. But yeah, I think Respawn wants to make Titanfall 3. They made Apex Legends because they really wanted to make Titanfall 3. They wanted to make more Titanfall. And then EA was like, well, Battle Royale is getting really big. Can you do something with that? So they were like, okay, we'll make sort of a Titanfall 2.5, 1.5 something. Because we do have this whole world we built. We're ready to use it. We're ready to craft something big and stupendous. Must be stained with my color. Ah, oh, I should have known. So I think if we all buy Apex Legend V-Bucks or whatever currency it uses all at once and say, hey, give us Titanfall 3, EA would have to, right? They'd have to. But then they would probably just take the wrong message and be like, mm, no. 
Apex Legends 2. That's what you want. That's why all the money is here. Not even an EA complaint, just an executive complaint. I'm too busy buying everything Team Ninja makes to get them to make DOA 7. <laughs> right? Listen! We need it. I want to make sure... Yeah, that's the only thing that could possibly qualify as blue. What if the uh, Team Ico creators made Mega Man? <laughs> that's all I can see when I look at this. God, actually, that would be kind of dope. A Mega Man send up, but it's got the aesthetic of Shadow of the Colossus or something. Naturally, forming the story around what that could possibly be. Not just doing, oh, it's Astro Boy. Again. Oh god. Okay, we are in the Soaring Tower now. Cool. I'm gonna go ahead and take a safety save here. We've already got a great weapon, and we don't really need red fruit. The last Reploid. God, I never finished the third game. I never finished the last Guardian. It's really good, but it's also like the longest and most exhausting of the three. But I do know that Ico is absolutely a game we need to play. Like, it is a stream game for sure. Bop. Okay, I'm really hoping Charlene's work uh, is going to make things easier for us here. Oh, come on. You dick. Okay. Just going to be an asshole. There. I just want to kill you with my squeaky toy. Why are you being so unreasonable? Okay. So I believe this way is the lab, or at least the lab equipment. So we'll see if we have to mess with that. Womp. Oh, nerds. Womp. Oh my god. Oh, we are going to be able to afford so many upgrades. That is absurd. My guy. There we go. Oh! The War Mauler is literally the weapon these guys wield. Okay. That's kind of neat. Oh, you're going to get so high. <laughs> make an absolutely bomb ass sauce one of the two okay there's nothing down there the equipment is just not there so i guess that means our only way is up our only home is bone let's see oh Bomb. That's starting to get real satisfying. Getting around the guard. With just a well-placed squeak. Neener, neener. Like, look at that. You can't say that's not satisfying. I mean, you can't. Anyone can say anything. Oh, hey, bud. Goodbye, bud. 
force of knowledge opens only to one who can assimilate with it. It opens for a brief moment only. Imagine how much better Bloodborne would have been with a squeaker. I mean, when we got those boxing gloves in Bloodborne PSX, I was kind of over the moon. I had everything I could ever want. Photosynthesis reactor. Okay. We have a puzzle. Um, I don't remember the order I did it before. That seemed to do something. <gasps> Can we change the statue colors? Oh, that's cute. Every American has a right to be brainwashed. John Wayne said that. Or he would have, if he was brainwashed. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's pretty great. Uh, let's see. So this is going to be similar to the mirror puzzle. Let's see. Can we mess with this any further? No, just turn the green. Okay, so if there's nothing else we can do, then we're just going to head on back. We're just going to rush past the enemies too, because like, nah. <sighs> Wait a minute. Do we... Am I sure we can't do anything with this? I'm not convinced we can't do something. Two for... Hmm... So I think we would need a, a weapon with crush or summon tree. Because those are earthy attacks. Bomb. Would that do it? Guess I could put on some dash boots or something. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe we can dash. Load. No action. Dang. Eh. Maybe that's a McGuffin. Oh well. It was a neat thing to consider. If anyone happens to know what that does, that would be really interesting, but I would have to actually go and buy some boots. The proper hammer and proper tiny waist and proper big swinging hips. Looking like a proper warrior. Fetching, if you will. <laughs> okay, if we're already... Okay. So... The Soaring Tower is not super long after a certain point. Oh, we don't need to change your color. Hey! This is, this is the final area, I guess. Or at least it was for Charlene. Um, let's see what we can do. We still got a whole hour before we're done for the day, but I think this might be, I think this is the finale. I think we're here. I think we're ready. I think today we're going to beat Evergrace. And if we don't, it's fine, but it'd be kind of cool if we could. 
rush across. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's just a tree guy. Never mind. I was worried. It's just a tree guy. Not a weird eldritch horror, but a tree guy. That guy is actually scarier looking. Just a bunch of floating pieces of armor. Actually, we're getting some absorption armor. What does that look like? It just looks like a nice sweater. A special third episode, oh god. Well, you have to remember, this is... Whoa, Quano's Axe. This is a game from 2000. A launch title. If it winds up being that long, that would be weird. Dance! Eh, that's fine. It's a cool looking axe, but it's not going to satisfy without upgrades. Not the way this does. Hey, big boy. Bump. Goodbye. Goodbye. Come on. Open. I want to kick that guy's ass. He's just waiting for it. He's begging me to kick his ass. Ah, oh, so close. And I don't think enemies outside the arena count towards opening the door. Ah, oh. come on, one more, one more, you fool. Just give me one little guy, one little guy. Give me a big guy. It satisfies. There we go. And away we go. Oh god. Why you gotta be like that? Go away. Go away. There we go. Okay. I like how this is the same exact dungeon, just with different enemies completely different enemies oh god hi oh they can knock us back way far that's not good okay i was very oh dude just hit us as soon as we walk through the door. What a bastard. Okay. So I believe we would probably have to go this way. But... Hey, Mr. Tree. Okay. Another guy, but honestly... Too easy. Leave me alone. I don't want to talk to anybody. Don't get involved with me. You'll get hurt. I'm almost dead anyway. Please, let me go in peace. Um. What if we helped you, though? I guess that's just going to be for Charlene, but... Huh. Maybe it's fine? Maybe she'll be fine. We know she's fine. Charlene helps. Okay. So now we're going to head north. Oh, God. Don't chase me. Don't chase me. Do we need to kill these guys? Do we really need to? 
Looks like Dan doesn't care. Ow. That is such a mean little trick. Okay, but this is definitely a room where we gotta kill to open. Ow. I was picking up my juice. Well, that's what you get. Okay. I kind of wish there was a, like, a trick for spawning enemies, you know? <laughs> There's a way to despawn enemies. But I haven't figured out anything that, like, makes them, kind of, uh, makes them appear faster. They just sort of show up when they want to. So we'll do laps. So how is everyone? What are you playing? Actually just 100% in Pikmin 4. I'm like ready to retire it. And uh, I'm very satisfied with it. I 100%ed it because I really wanted to 100% it. Rather than felt like I had to. And that's always a good sign. When you just kind of sit there and keep playing a game because you don't really want it to end. So now I'm probably going to try and finish up Tears of the Kingdom, which I restarted once already. And I've still got so much to do. Beat the tower, yes! And Pokemon, but I've still been too busy with work to do much game-wise. Yeah, you're gonna be... If I recall correctly, you're gonna be busy for a hot minute. And the door is open. I need to finish Pizza Tower. I really like it. This is a really good game. Just grinding levels in Street Fighter VI while also hovering around Ace Combat 7 again. Ended up S-ranking that entire game in the hardest difficulty. Ooh, hell yes. <gasps> Planes? Festival ends. Ooh. Festival ends on the 6th. Yeah, that's right. Um, also, this is just kind of a good picture, so... We're just gonna... We're just gonna... Strange rights enforced by aircraft. Love that. Last thing I did was beat the Weston boss. Ooh, hell yeah. Tired, being a human guinea pig takes it out of you. Think about playing Halo Master Chief Edition next. It's a good... It's a good game. It's yet still more Halo, which... Not a complaint. Ooh, big sound effects. I'm having trouble getting this guy to get close enough so I can whack him. Okay, just have to hit his, um, that I don't want to say. But whatever it is, I don't feel comfortable having him show it to me. I mean, it's also his house, though, so, like... I'm kind of the aggressor here. The real story is I'm finally reading Akira. Yes! I need to get all volumes. I'm still short a couple. It's a long one. Ah, there we go. Does that do it? Yes. Give me a bridge. Don't fall down the pit. Don't you do it? Don't you? Don't you do it? Okay, what's next? Huh. 
Damn. I got a bunch of gift cards too. I should make use of them while I'm in town. Ugh. Oh, our headgear is uh, a little busted. But I think we have some Biliana extract that'll help us fix that. Fully restores Palmyra power of a selected armament. Oh, it wouldn't let us do that. Okay. Fine. And we'll go to the shop and um, we'll use mushrooms to see how much we can upgrade stuff. Welcome. But we need to first fix. Hey, here. Fix my hat. Hell yeah. Okay. I am. Can we just keep handing them? Okay. Eh, doesn't seem to wanna. I think we might have to like back out and back in again if we want to use all the mushrooms we got. Because I'm assuming this is this is the last fight for Darius. I don't know how they plan on unifying the stories. I don't know if this is actually the last fight. Welcome. Or if maybe we're in for something. All right, upgrade. Is this okay? okay, so that's just how we're going to do it. We're we're going to we're going to game the system a little bit because it doesn't really work very well. <laughs> it's got a lot of fr needless friction to it. Welcome. I've been talking a lot about friction lately, and I've never really explained what friction is in terms of game design. It's... I'll put it this way. Have you ever played a game where the menus felt weirdly sticky? Like, you press a button and it doesn't really feel like it's responding to you, it's responding to the suggestion of a button press. It's a weird friction, I call it. And... That friction is a part of every single design choice in a game. The way Mario moves and jumps is an example of friction. Um, how you navigate menus, the way abilities are used, uh, the ease through which you can reload a weapon. All of these things have a very specific feel that if you have a certain knack for it, You can make a game feel appropriately buttery, or give a game the right kind of friction that allows the player to feel as though like it has some good weight to everything, which is a hard thing to manage. Have you ever played Guap? Oh boy, have I ever. Um, Guap's great. It's actually a pretty good example of what I'm talking about because that game is about friction. That game is up about like understanding the way things move, the way these systems interact with each other, and the way each button press feels. They're like friction is a result of player expectation and game intention, not meshing together. Um, yes, but. I would also add that that's an aspect of friction, an example of bad friction. You actually want friction and should always expect it. Friction allows you to know that you're making contact with the game's systems, with the game's world, with the game's interface, all of these things. And bad friction is when you do not feel like you can connect with what the game is trying to do. Any game where you do a lot of excessive menuing can be an example of friction. It's sort of, it's like a secret sauce for any game that involves a lot of inputs from the player. Here they come. I've been waiting for this. I would 
say it's actually kind of a... Where is Charlene? More of a digital game thing. important to you, huh? I can understand that. But it can be a tabletop thing as well. Hmm. Mm. A test subject like her is hard to come by. Yes, she functioned rather well. Much better than that sickly tramdom. Thanks to her, I'm at the final stage of my experiment. You creep. <laughs> yes. Feel the anger. Let me see the power of your crest. There is no one better than you as the subject for my final experiment with the AI crest. Oh, great. We're dealing with a tech bro. Oh god. Okay, so. Now I mentioned friction, and I think a lot of people would maybe rightly assume that I'm talking about momentum and physics. And I am. But those are aspects of the overall experience with the game. It's kind of like... If you are unable to determine with any sort of reliability how your character engages with the world, no amount of good physics is really going to change that. Because if the way to actually implement those mechanics is busted, it's not going to do anything for you. Come on! Let me hit you! Anyway, Morpheus is defeated. You know too much. Humans can't change the cycle of the world. Sienna? What? Why? I've never agreed to this for the mere convenience of demons like you, who exist simply to destroy. Oh, she's a demon? Is she like I'm not a cool wrong. demon? I can't be. We're stranded, Morpheus. <laughs> Sienna, you're a demon, but you still care. <laughs> he won't even remember your voice, much less your words. Where is he, Morpheus? Where do you think? He's in a place you know all too well. No. Yes! He's at the land of all ends. Charlene! Morpheus! <laughs> no one would blame me for doing this. <laughs> That's not... I mean... It's your move, Sienna. This is all your fault. Every last bit of it. Oh, you just had to open it. Which one will you give up? The precious little girl? Or your very own child? Ooh, well, this is going to be very... What's going on? What's happening? I have no idea, Darius. I was kind of hoping, hoping somebody would explain it to me. <laughs> but no. Okay, so that's a mandatory save, which means we are done with Darius's story. Are we going to see some kind of fusion? Start final story. Okay. What? What's going on? Darius. 
Can you forgive me? I did this to you for my own selfish ways. I'll save Charlene. I promise. Charlene! Do you still have all your equipment? Yes! Charlene! Purify me according to my wishes. Kill me before. Rest fair. Bring us. I can't go. Do it. What is going on? What's happening, Sienna? Trandon, let him out. Thank you, Charlene. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry I brought you here. Sorry I lied to you. Now, for you, I will. Oh. Huh. So, uh, oh, hi, Mom. Good to see you. We don't have a lot of money. That's going to make things a little difficult, I think, but... There is some weird stuff happening. I still don't know what. <laughs> but it's fine. Hi, Marnie. There we go. Now, I guess let's just pick one and go. What? Yes. You've grown up. <laughs> that was kind of cute. Okay. Let's see how land of all. Okay, this is kind of dope, actually. Bump. 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 Come on. Eat it, squirt. Bop. I'm going to kill a child. It wouldn't be a FromSoft game if you had any idea what was going on. See, you get it. Bop. I think we're doing good. Ow. That technically counts as instant karma, but it did so little damage. There. Are you sure that was your line? Are you sure it wasn't mom me? No? Well, you're dead anyway, so who cares? Okay, so what next? I guess we're Charlene. Okay. Let's get all our stuff back, including our massive rod. Okay, we've got the Blessed set, which I believe we were running the uh, last time we played her. Let's see. No. I want to start with the Paldeo boots and compare everything else. Honestly, it seems to be the best. Um, star necklace. Absorb some of the damage inflicted on the user. That might be handy. Uh, hmm. Maybe this will be good. Okay. So, with that, let's go ahead and save again, because we're doing well. But I'm going to save in a different slot, because I don't know how well this fight is going to work with this character. You never know. Boss, you killed a child? Amazing. Mission complete. That right there is why you're the best, boss. <laughs> uh... 
Okay, I don't know how this is going to work, but we don't have Zul's toy, so we're just going to kind of have to work it out. Ow. What the hell? That hurts. Okay. That's not doing what I want. Okay. Is that actually... I can't tell if she's just deflecting the attack or not. Yeah, that's not doing anything. Okay. Premier Spear might be a good alternative. Huh. Yep, that's also not doing damage. Okay, I guess we are just going to move through this. Oh, no, don't do that. Dang. Come on, get over here. Let me hit you. Oh, God. Fine, don't worry about it. Where you going? <laughs> oh, still not able to get a hit on this guy. Girl? Okay, did that actually do damage? Come back! Ugh. I think I might want to switch characters. Again, no damage. Okay. Let's see. Where are you facing? So, whenever, whenever they do that little spinny thing, I'm assuming it's a shield. They're going to go in the direction that they stop. There we go. Ooh, there we go. Yes. So there's a window. I want to grab the big damn rod again. And what I'm going to do is try something. We're going to wait for it to do this. And we're just going to kind of keep hitting until we can get some purchase. Okay. <gasps> wow. You actually can just like beef it there. Okay. Wow, it only took two minutes to beat the kid. And as far as I'm aware, like there's no like... Um, There's no, like, armor in this game in the same way. Like, there are shields. There's guarding. But there doesn't seem to be, like, armor that breaks. You know what I mean? Ow. Okay. All right, I don't think the Sacred Rod is actually going to do anything for us. Ah, this weapon were a little faster. Oh, that is so little damage. Okay, so timing 
is going to be key. Wait. It's gonna die down. Dang. So that scoots us too far forward. We will fall if we use it. Hmm. Let's load up with Darius. I want to see if maybe things will be a little different if we use him for that fight. Think. Darius. Yes. You. I believe the right side, the one closest to the crystal, is the one we need. There we go. This is the fruit that there is no Oh, that does good damage. Okay, I think we have our trick. I think this is just a matter of using the right character for the right job. Got it. Got it again. Wait for it. Yes. Okay, this is working a lot better. Waiting. Yes. Oh, this is working out. Waiting. The bird fears the hammer. Love it. Got her again. Almost there. So I'm assuming now we'll switch back over to Charlene. And we'll be fighting little Mr. Bullcut. Once again, we are grabbing all of our equipment. The Valor set, the Blessed Mask of Haldeo boots, and the Band of Clarity. And we are going to save again into a third slot. Though I, I'm pretty sure this is going to be fine. Because Mr. Bullcut isn't that bad. I, I can't imagine there being too big an issue dealing with him, with Charlene instead of Darius. I know for a fact this is the same audio. Aw, does it heal him? Yeah, okay, so. We need to find which weapons work. No. Okay, come on. My dude. Okay, that's still not enough damage. But the katana is at least a possibility. We're fighting an astronaut in this place and no more heroes. See, you get it. Yeah. 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 
Again, you're healing. How about the Volanter? That does do damage. Has a nice wide berth. Come on. Okay, so this is going to be just a nasty fight in general. Ow. We should probably keep trying weapons out, but this is working better than the katana. Try out the blood claw. I don't think that move is escapable. Huh. When in doubt, bow and arrow. Get him from a distance. Oh, I wonder if maybe the sacred bow, the elite bow, would be a better fit for this. Here's open. Nope, not at all. Okay, so the Blanter is probably our best bet unless the frying egg pan is just somehow absurdly good. He also seems to only have a very specific height that he's allowed to take up. He's only got so much range. So if we sit on top of a hill, we're more likely to be able to pop him. My dude. Okay, so he's just going to spam moves now. But we are at least finally getting some success. It's just going to take a hot minute. Stop hitting me. There we go. We can take the hits, take a little bit of risk. Yes, that's working. Yes. It's slow. It's slow going, but it's going. Bomb. Oh, you little twerp. Come on. Where'd you go? If they didn't want us to take advantage of chipping damage, they wouldn't have implemented it into the game. <laughs> it ain't much, but it's honest damage. God, that's the attack I hate right there, though. There's like no sensible way to avoid it. There we go, come on. Almost there.
Come on. Yes. Goodness. So is there like an Ur boss or save data? Oh, nope. That's it. I mean, there might be an Ur boss, but we'll save over this one. Because we did it. it. We did it. We managed. What's going to happen? Are you okay? Sienna? She's all right, isn't she, Darius? Isn't she? Uh -huh. No, this can't be. Don't cry, Charlene. I'm so sorry. It was destined to end like this long ago. I put it off as long as I could. I was a selfish mother. Trandon will never forgive me. Darius, I couldn't do it. But you, you can. Because you're not alone. Not like me. The quest will someday be a symbol of hope. With the last of my dying powers, I... Sienna! Thank you. I saved Charlene thanks to you. All because of your help. Thank you, Darius. If the cycle permits, we'll meet again someday. For now, goodbye. Hold on. And there we have it. That was Evergrace. Huh. I, I'm not gonna lie, that was genuinely very interesting. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to make of it. So, I think it really just boils down to Morpheus's trying to do all these experiments goes way too far. And we wind up hunting him down. Perhaps through some um, divine intervention. and put a stop to everything that he's doing. Uh, all of his work is based on crests, which, you know, we don't really get a lot of information about, which, you know, so be it. But... My gosh. <laughs>
I mean, I really liked it. It was very tough. It was kind of a struggle to get through a lot of what it what it was trying to get us to do. <laughs> um, and maybe that's like a weird way of putting it. But I don't know. There's something about it that like if I had this in the year 2000 and I like really sat and dedicated myself to it, I could see myself like just really sinking underneath it. I'm actually also going to look at the Wikipedia article for the plot because some of this probably would have been handy. And the manual is a huge file on Internet Archive. If you ever want to see it for yourself, by the way, it does have some extra information. Um, I figure maybe for anyone who's into the idea. Here's a link to the start of like the substance of it. But these are big files, they're like 20 megabits per page. So it, it's a lot. Oh, I love the grain on this. It has this VHS quality to it. What's gonna happen? You know, Necrobob, I think you're right. Or, AJ, I think you're right. This is a video game, if there ever was one. <laughs> Hand out of the ground. No. Oh, cool. So there's our little extra challenge, if we so choose. Go for 100% of the bestiary and of all items, which I'm assuming also includes buying everything. Or making everything drop. Um, so, I'm going to look into what this plot synopsis says, just, just kind of for our benefit. The continent of Edinburgh once held the largest and most powerful empire of all time. The Rubain Empire, er, wow, I just kind of mangled all that. Um, this empire was primarily ruled by Morpheus, a powerful magician, and his servants and clients. Morpheus became devoted to studying the crest, a series of markings on one ha one's hand, and are considered cursed due to the misfortunes that happened to the crest bearers. So basically, the crests themselves aren't really anything, but they seem to affect the world around them by a kind of subtle yet supernatural ways. And of course, we saw a little bit there in uh, the cinematic. Morpheus was fascinated with the crest and performed several experiments, thus creating the powerful Palmyra armament and the man-made AI crest. After capturing a renegade soldier who had the crest, Morpheus ordered the Empire to invade Toledo, a nearby, a nearby independent village in the Biliana Forest, because they worshipped the crest and was supposedly a threat to the balance of Rubain. The Empire would never have agreed with Morpheus if they knew the real reason for evading the Toledans, simply to acquire more test subjects. In the end, the Empire effortlessly crushed Toledo, but as the flames grew higher, the Rubain Empire, Toledo, and the Human Research Lab suddenly and completely disappeared. People came to call Rubain a lost kingdom, and the land became overgrown with Biliana trees. Hundreds of years later, four villages once part of the Empire banded together to establish the Empire of Fontrail. But this was not to last. And that's all we get out of that. And I'm assuming Bond Trail is kind of where everything kind of kicks off. But yeah, that was Evergrace. Um, I know I've already asked like what y'all think, but I, I really like this. It's weird. It's um, 
I still don't fully understand the story. Yeah, there's a lot more story in the manual. That like the manual almost spells things out, but never actually like gets down to like what the crest is. But the basic idea is that Morpheus was looking for test subjects, and it's very likely Darius and Charlene were also intended to be test subjects. He was just kind of teleporting people in. It's like, yeah, let's go nuts. And we were the two test subjects who happened to fight back and deal with the problem. But, like I said, there's the manual. You can check it out for yourself. But for now, we're done. I really like this game. It's not that expensive on the resale market. I don't know if I'll go after Forever Kingdom, the sequel, but... I'm kind of into it. For now, though, thank you all for coming. Um, we'll be playing Yakuza Kiwami 2 next, which I'm really excited about. Um, I mean, I generally don't play games on here that I'm not excited about, but I love Yakuza. I love playing more. And then after that, we're going to have some horror games. So. If you want to support the channel, follow, subscribe for exclusive emotes, click the notification bell, check out my link tree, check out the VODs available for 60 days after initial airing, and my YouTube, at Interject Without a C, uh, for VODs beyond 60 days. With that, though, uh, I bid you adieu. Thank you all for coming. I've been Robin at Interject Without a C, and will continue to be so for the foreseeable future. Get hydrated, get vaccinated, get messed up. Be good, be safe, be awesome, be gone. Bye.